In today's world, cancer is a widespread disease, affecting a large number of people. According to statistics, approximately one in three individuals will develop cancer at some point in their life. This high percentage may be surprising or even shocking to many people. It is crucial to understand the risk factors associated with certain diseases, particularly cancer. Even people who lead healthy lifestyles and take excellent care of themselves may develop cancer. This phenomenon remains a mystery to medical professionals, as some people who never smoked, drank alcohol or engaged in unhealthy behaviors have still been diagnosed with cancer. Dr. Vishal Rao, an oncologist and head and neck surgeon, has encountered many such patients in his career. One of his patients who never smoked, drank alcohol or consumed unhealthy foods still developed cancer, leaving both the patient and the doctor perplexed. Dr. Rao believes that harmful carcinogens are present not only in tobacco but also in the food we consume, including fast food and processed items, which may increase cancer risk. In this video, we will learn how the quality of food we consume can influence our chances of developing cancer. There are numerous factors to consider, including pesticides, which are chemicals used to protect crops from pests and insects. Pesticides are an essential tool for farmers and home gardeners to protect their crops, but they can also cause pesticide poisoning and cancer in humans. Therefore, it is essential to switch to organic foods that contain fewer pesticides and are GMO-free, fresher, and richer in nutrients. Organic farming is better for the environment and can help reduce the risk of cancer by reducing the amount of pesticides we consume. Before making any dietary changes, we suggest speaking to your doctor or a nutritionist to determine how an organic diet can benefit your health. Remember to subscribe to our channel for more daily health tips, and turn on notifications so that you never miss a new video. Preservatives have been used for centuries to keep food safe and edible for extended periods of time. These chemicals, which can be natural or man-made, are added to food products to prevent them from spoiling. Many of the packaged foods we purchase require some form of preservative to protect us from food poisoning. These substances are generally acidic in nature, which prevents microorganisms from growing in the food. Some common examples of preservatives include salt, sugar, and vegetable oil. While preservatives serve to keep food fresh, they also provide essential nutrients when consumed in the recommended amounts. With advances in technology, companies have begun using synthetic preservatives to help store and protect food from spoilage for longer periods of time. Unfortunately, studies have shown that some synthetic food preservatives, such as sodium benzoate and sodium nitrite, may contribute to the development of gastric cancer. Many commonly consumed foods and drinks contain preservatives, including bread, cheese, margarine, wine, processed meats, fruit juice, dried fruit, and soft drinks. To determine whether your favorite foods contain preservatives, simply check the label. Adulterants in food and beverages are substances that are not legally allowed to be added to the products we consume. One example of a food adulterant is food colorants. Companies used to use natural food colorants, such as beet or pomegranate juice, carrot juice, spinach powder, parsley juice, turmeric powder, blueberry juice, and cocoa powder. However, because their shelf life is limited, many companies have turned to adulterants, such as chalk powder, sawdust, non-permitted dyes, and coal tar. Synthetic food colorants, such as Red 40, Blue 1, and Yellow 5, have also become popular despite being linked to long-term health problems. Some of the most commonly adulterated foods include vanilla extract, maple syrup, grape wine, apple juice, coffee, orange juice, and saffron. These alarming facts about the foods we eat should motivate us to change our diets and the products we consume. Street food is a beloved delicacy for many of us. From hot dogs to french fries, we all enjoy the nostalgic taste of street food. However, eating street food poses certain health risks, including exposure to vehicular emissions, carbon dioxide, and air pollutants that are absorbed into the foods we eat. Additionally, street food can lead to foodborne illnesses, such as diarrhea, fever, and food poisoning. While tempting, consuming greasy street food after a long night out may not be worth the potential health risks. Therefore, it is essential to prioritize hygiene when consuming street food. Eat at your own risk and take necessary precautions to reduce exposure to harmful contaminants. Degreening agents, which are commonly used in the commercial practice of treating early season harvested citrus, aim to stimulate the breakdown of chlorophyll in fruit peels to bring out their color. However, since fruits and vegetables cannot be stored for extended periods of time, they are treated with degreening ripening agents, such as calcium carbide and ethylene, which can pose health risks. Calcium carbide, in particular, contains traces of phosphorus and arsenic that can be hazardous to our bodies. 
Studies suggest that eating artificially ripened fruits can be harmful and reduce life expectancy. The food industry has been pushed to find ways to meet the demand for instant and consistent service, whether it's for coffee or a hamburger. This has led to the use of preservatives and other additives to prolong the shelf life of products. While leading a healthy lifestyle, exercising regularly, and abstaining from smoking and drinking may make us feel less susceptible to certain types of cancer. It is crucial to understand the health risks associated with the food we consume. To improve our health and the overall quality of our lives, it is essential to do research, read food labels, and stay informed about what we consume. Skipping street food, avoiding added preservatives that can risk our health, and carefully reading food labels before purchasing or consuming a food or beverage can help ensure we make healthier choices. By being conscious of the food we eat and its impact on our health, we can take control of our well-being and longevity. Alcohol consumption is linked to an increased risk of developing several types of cancer, including breast, colon, liver, mouth, throat, and esophageal cancer. The risk of cancer increases with the amount of alcohol consumed, as well as the frequency and duration of alcohol use. Heavy drinking can damage DNA, impair the body's ability to repair damaged DNA, and increase the production of harmful chemicals that can contribute to cancer development. Even moderate alcohol consumption can increase the risk of cancer. The American Cancer Society recommends that women limit their alcohol intake to one drink per day, and men limit their intake to two drinks per day. It's important to note that alcohol consumption can also increase the risk of other health problems, such as liver disease, heart disease, and mental health issues. Sweetened beverages are a major source of added sugar in our diets. Consuming too much added sugar can lead to weight gain, type 2 diabetes, and other health issues. Studies have shown a link between consuming sugary drinks and an increased risk of certain types of cancer, such as breast, colon, and pancreatic cancer. One possible reason for this is that sugary drinks can lead to obesity, which is a known risk factor for several types of cancer. Another possible explanation is that high levels of insulin in the body, caused by consuming sugary drinks, can promote the growth of cancer cells. In addition to their sugar content, sweetened beverages may contain other additives that have been linked to cancer. For example, some artificial sweeteners have been shown to cause cancer in animal studies. Choosing water or other low-sugar beverages like unsweetened tea or coffee can help reduce your risk of cancer and other health issues. In conclusion, the foods we consume have a direct impact on our health and well-being. While some of these foods may seem harmless, they may contain preservatives, adulterants, degreening agents, and other additives that can increase our risk of developing certain types of cancer. It is crucial to educate ourselves about the potential risks associated with the foods we eat and to make informed decisions about our diets. By avoiding cancer-causing foods and making healthier food choices, we can take control of our health and reduce our risk of developing this devastating disease. Remember, small changes can make a big difference. Thank you for watching, and please stay tuned for more informative videos about health and wellness.